Why hello guys, my name is Fat Ninja and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the uh, shine gun effect or I'm going to say glowing gun effect v2 you just had a preview of it just then I'll just go over it again quickly and uh, as we're watching this preview you, you just saw it there I want to say thank you guys for 1900 subscribers that means we're only 100 away from 2000 which is really awesome because I hit um, 1,000 subs, like February 20 something around that time. So now that it's almost June, so that's like three, three, four months later, I'm already almost at 2K, which is really awesome, and I want to thank guys so much for it. So let's just get straight into this tutorial. What you're gonna need for this effect is FL Glow and Shine. So FL Glow, I'll have a link in the description on how to get it. The tutorial is in French, however, it's really easy to follow. So hopefully, guys could uh, understand it. And then what you're gonna need is shine. So a lot of people have shine. It's just FL Glow is really hard to find a tutorial on it. So that's why I will link you guys about it. So let's just get straight into this effect. I'm just gonna delete these two things. And uh, one second. I'm just gonna I'm gonna delete the FL Glow and I'm gonna turn off the shine because I just wanna remember my keyframes and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna do the shine on this one. And what you're gonna do, obviously, is just mask out the gun, which I have done here. So, you know, not not too detailed mask, just around the gun, not too proper. Then what you can do is go on this, go onto this layer, add a twixter. Okay, okay, let's apply it. Okay, go to frame rate 59.940. Image prep is contrast, and then um, warping is inverse of smart blend. Go to go to 100. Go over one frame. One frame, sorry, not two. And then just put this to like 10. We'll say 10. Okay, so then we can have our keyframes there. And then we can zoom out. And what we could do is just go to this one, because this is the one that just has the shine on it. Go to this one, and we have our mask path. Let's keyframe it. And let's go over 10 frames. And then we could adjust it. So let's do it really quickly. Also, I want to say on my I'm notorious edit, I have 71 likes, which is really really awesome, and I want to thank you guys for that, for that a lot. But um, if you guys get it to 75 likes, so I'll link it in the description, then I'll make a tutorial on one of the effects I used in that video, like um, probably like the motion track money or something. We'll see something special. So um, yeah, let's go get that to 75 likes. Just four more likes needed. And just keep adjusting the keyframes as we go along here. Not too special. Okay, let's just say this is perfect, okay? Let's just say that's perfect. Because, you know, it's perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is on this adjustment layer, go to effects and presets and type in FL glow. And you could just, you can leave it as the preset, which I did. Or you could play around with it and, you know, do everything and everything. You know, you know what I mean? Go to standard, or you could like make it angular. I don't really see any difference with it. Like there was a tiny bit, and you could go to box maybe, or aberrative, uh, aberrative. I don't know how to pronounce that word. But anyways, um, you could just do anything with F FL glow. You just need to put it on. That's about it. It just makes it shinier and lighter. Then go to effects and presets and tiny type in shine, shine. Okay, bring that on the gun. Okay, so let's bring this to about here. Let's go to our feather, on our mask, sorry. Oh wait, no, one second. Okay, go to, sorry, go to transfer mode, click add. So now we can see the gun. Go to ray length, put this to three, boost light to five, about that. And then open this little shimmer option. Detail, you can leave it at zero. Uh, sorry, amount, we can leave it at zero. But I like to use five. It doesn't really make a difference, but I just like the, I just like the number five. And then 15, because why not? Okay, so then we can go to colorize, and what you can do is we can drag on chemistry or electric or any any of the ones you want. So electric, as you can see, the gun is really blue and everything, and we could put this marker wherever we want. So we could put it here, we could put it there. If we go, if we put it too far out, it doesn't look that great, and you can see the gun kind of like it's not really applying to the edge of the gun because of the feather. So I like to put it like just right here. -ish. So the gun is like shiny from above, maybe even a bit higher. Totally up to you guys. And then you could always adjust the feather if you need to. What you can also do is go to your shadows and you could put it to black. So now it makes 
only certain parts of the gun blue and that looks really really cool so now what we can do is go back one frame and I can keyframe the midtones and the highlight actually no just leave the highlights just key keyframe the midtones go over one frame uh, sorry 10 frames can't pronounce my words today or even say anything and let's make this a nice pink so now let's just go th go into this and I'm just gonna you know ramp preview these 10 frames and surprisingly it's taken long for 10 frames holy crap but as you can tell it's changing colors and it looks really awesome okay it should be done now okay I'll just show you guys it because if, if I ramp preview like it if I ramp preview it it will just go way too fast okay so as you can see it changes colors and looks awesome so that's really all you gotta do and then you can also play it with the shine opacity and the source opacity as well and you could uh, multiply or you can do any type of you know, screen screen actually doesn't look too bad I think adds the nicest but you know you could uh, I don't know what color dodge does that's not that bad either overlay like you could just play with all these settings there's so many settings you can play with and then based on like luminous alpha alpha edges whatever totally up to you guys and you could keyframe the boost light so it gets brighter and any and everything so that's about it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed and um i'm gonna have another tutorial sometime soon i don't know why i couldn't say that but yeah thank you guys for watching have a nice day and i will see you guys later goodbye